So, uh, how'd you meet? <laughs> <laughs> there's the, uh, <laughs> there's the official story and the, uh, the real story. Hmm. Jane can tell the official story and I'll tell the real story. No, the official story is lame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we met online. Okay, Cupid. Highly recommend. <laughs> okay, Cupid's pretty good. As yeah. far as, far as also, dating Also, because they publish all their data and it's really, really interesting. Reinforces a lot of stereotypes. <laughs> but with science. Stereotypes with science. Yeah. Very nice. Awesome. Like, like... No. Hi. Hello. Did you clean your room today? Hmm? Did you clean your room today? Yes, I did. Good boy. Thank you. <laughs> and this better not be on YouTube. <laughs> no, I did it out. Not a chance. <laughs> okay, so, okay, Cupid, and, and, yeah. and first date or first something? Um, we just, well, because I, Our you know, first I moved date. to... Was she claims it wasn't the first date, but I know that it was. The first <laughs> date. We 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 went on a double a, a double date, which she thought was a double friend thing. Apparently, to see a <clears throat> Thai movie about like a girl, autistic girl, who starts like becoming kick ass at fighting. It's called Chocolate. <laughs> It's highly intellectual <laughs> film. Um, and that's when I met first met Jay and Momo, who unfortunately mm. couldn't be here. Aww. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. And how long, when was that? How that long was we my first each year? Other? Was that three yeah. years or three and a half years? That was about each three other? years ago. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. So our relationship has always, always been such that it seemed like we've been together about five times longer than we have. Yeah, I think after our first month, it's like, wow, we feel like it's been a year already. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Hmm. So, um, I guess we've said a lot, but tell me about this wedding. I mean, obviously it's a little different. Yeah. Um, Can we hear the unofficial story of the dinner? Yeah, good call. The, the fun one? The the Oh, that was the that was the unofficial, the, uh, or the the official one was that we met in a coffee shop and that she came and like looked at my Kindle or something. Yeah, like and that. I was drawing Ooh, chemistry so cards. Saucy. Okay, yeah. well, which brand of coffee? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's Pete's. Pete's, which I hate, but yeah. yeah. Coffee shop in what city? Uh, La Jolla. UTC? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I think it's actually yeah, La Jolla. It's the, well, no, it's, it's, the, it's the one next to Whole Foods. Yep. The official story is very weakly worked out, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know, I know. It's not really questioning at all. Hmm. Okay, so, um, uh, well, anything in between the official, unofficial story and, and this wedding that you want to throw in? Um, How we got here? Well, uh, I don't know, we've been living give together. Us three, give us three tags. Uh, we've been living together for like a couple of years now, right? Yeah. At least. Yeah, pretty much. About two and a half, maybe. Pretty much as soon as we started dating. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, probably two years. Yeah. So, we um... bought the house. So, yeah, nice. there's kind of like two and a half years of experience of uh, <laughs> pretty much every day in there. <laughs> well, uh. you know, crazy thing that, that I'll throw in just to make it about me is <laughs> that the four of us sitting here, um... Including the heckler. Yeah, that, that one. No. <clears throat> I'm just you, here for extra comedic effect. Because uh, <laughs> your meetup stories are both boring. <laughs> yeah. Inter interesting it's thing. It's more interesting for us to talk about how us four met, first met. Yeah. Yes, that's what I was going uh. for. Is actually, we were the first bar camp that was at Into It. I don't know the number, yeah. but the first one at Into It. And Jeff said hi to me, and we talked for a while, and he said, You're an artist. I know someone who does. Um, bio macro micro photography you should meet her and so we talked and then like 20 minutes later you walked by and made the famous shoe comment and so <laughs> so we both met you guys like within 20 minutes of each the other famous yeah. shoe comment yeah the comment it's about obviously not famous enough for you to know about it Jen. yeah no she's like oh have you guys been dating five years because we both had oh that, with socks. oh that oh i thought you were talking about his shoes yeah. he, I, I, you had on some interest you always have on interesting outfits and i come i think i commented oh yeah you have, on like, your clothing when i first met you i think i don't remember if it was your shoes or your shirt it might have been your shirt. 
Okay, enough you, about Bart. You're now. wearing <clears throat> shoes on your shirt. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> enough about Bart. Camp. Tell us about this, 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 how you created this wedding in this incredible place and spent less money than I know and created a cooler wedding than I've ever been to. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, we found out about this place um, when we came up to visit Megan Dora. Uh, she was here for a knitting conference, and since we were kind of in Eugene and wanted to meet up with her, we drove up here to see her and at the same time, you know, check out the waterfalls and stuff. Um, it was kind of gloomy and rainy. It was kind of gross that day. But um, when we were thinking of wedding places, I was like, remember that little woods place with all the canopy trees and little log cabins. Let's go there, because <laughs> it's in the middle of nowhere. Um, and it actually ended up being quite an ordeal because they have this extremely outmoded uh, way of re reserving rooms here, and you essentially need to call a year before on the day that you want to reserve. And uh, no, apparently it was the, the <coughs> of the month or something. Anyways, we, we kind of messed it up. We wanted it to be in late July, but it ended up being August. And you, you end up having to compete with everyone else who's calling at like 8 a.m. when they open the lines. And so I think I called for three hours straight getting busy signals before I finally got through. And then this is a popular place. This. Obviously. Um, yeah, <laughs> not the best reservation system. Yeah, but that's why uh, the wedding was kind of on a Sunday and people had to take Monday off. Yeah, but it did end up uh, it did end up working out pretty well. Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. What do you What do you want to know? What's your question for this happy couple? I want to know when they're going to start having babies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Where is this going to be published? Uh, <laughs> no, as uh, to be decided. Later. She just doesn't want to talk about it on video. But uh, we have no, no particular plans for kids. And actually, I'm mean, part of this whole, I mean, you were asking about the sort of the, the, the idea behind the wedding. I think a lot of it is about being honest, about being different, and about being willing to think and, and go away from traditions. And so, yeah, we're not planning on having kids. It doesn't mean we won't have kids, but we're certainly not planning on it. And it certainly <laughs> isn't a, uh, Accident. <laughs> <clears throat> I think you need to be really careful because we should document that moment last yesterday when we were down by the waterfall yeah. taking the photos. That was and amazing. And there was a crazy ass Christian guy came up. <laughs> yeah, he was born again. And he again. said, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think what he said was that God had given him a message for Jeff and June that they were going to be together forever, that he could feel their love for each other, and that they were going to have lots of babies. <laughs> I think it was a God would reward us with lots of babies or ah. something like that. No, yeah, yeah And both of them, after having a ceremony blessed by the flying spaghetti monsters <laughs> and nudely appendages, kept totally straight faces <laughs> through the whole thing. He, he was concerning me a little bit, and I wanted him to shut up. So, <laughs> so I was like, thank you very much, sir. We're moving on now. <laughs> yeah. Hi, we're joining the, uh, the last of the uh, survivors. That's awesome. Mm. Yeah, thank you. It's a finishing school. <laughs> Bird University. Everybody has their own curriculum. It all wow. depends on what you've started, <laughs> such as documentary videos. They, they also teach uh, poker at Berg uh, University. Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes better than other times. <laughs> You're, you joined the, uh, uh, the wedding, wedding talk post show wedding exit, talk. exit interview. What, 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 no, they call it, it's not a post-mortem. <laughs> it's a uh, exit interview. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so what else does anybody want to know? Or, I'm or curious say? as to why the flying spaghetti monster has such significance for you guys. Um, we're big evolutionary people. Evolutionarist? I think I remember hearing you say one time yeah. that um, right about the very start of your relationship, like maybe on your first date, how mm -hmm. there were about three or four things, three or four strange things that you had in common. Yeah, and I think there, there were two things that like... Jeff was recalled as being like, like the moment when he thought that I was a keeper early. <laughs> One is what like first time we met, saw the, um, the flying skeddy monster on the back of his car. And, was like, and it's on the back of her monster. car too. So. Well, now it's on the back of my car. Oh, right. But um, yeah, so he, he was very surprised that I knew about it. And then the other thing is his email was meme addict. 
and uh, I knew what a meme was. And, and everyone thinks it's me, me addict, and they're like, you're so self-centered. But, <laughs> <laughs> but she got it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so the rest of the wedding stuff. I mean, we just we just wanted uh, we wanted to do something different. We wanted to do something fun. We wanted to do something that was was not perpetuating the the whole marriage tradition very much. And do something just, to make know. people uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, mixing mixing things up a little <laughs> bit is uh, it's useful. But I think people had fun doing it. Yeah. I think they got annoyed at the beginning that they were going to have to do something different and and. You know, put and then some effort into fun. it, and yeah. then had a lot of fun with the fact that Which they actually had to do it. How so. things go, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, you well, make an effort to do something different, and you're gonna have fun with it. Well, That's, I gotta say, I mean, both of your sets of parents were like so did such amazing jobs with the mm. steampunk clothes. I mean, mm -hmm. they, they look fantastic. Yeah, it was really, yeah. It was really there's definitely some cool. resistance at first. Okay. So yeah, um, well, they, they, <laughs> they they all came through yeah. with flying colors. Yeah, mm -hmm. except Chris. Damn Chris. <laughs> I don't know what happened with that. <laughs> any, any questions, comments, thoughts from any, anyone else? Uh, it was Take the microphone if you want. No, if you want. I don't really have that much to say except for just we've really enjoyed the whole thing. It was just really nice, especially to get to see some of Jeff's old friends that I haven't seen since, like, some from high school graduation. That's the last I've seen some of them, and some from this college graduation. And I think Aaron's the only one I've seen since, so it was just nice to get to see everybody mm -hmm. again and see some faces like I've heard about you a lot, and, <laughs> and actually a lot of you. And I've seen photos of mm -hmm. most of these people on your Facebook and, and stuff, so it's, it's been fun to get to think I actually know them now. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, I was actually just thinking that a, a, a lot of this has ended up like, this wedding has kind of ended up like Bill. Even though I didn't like Bill and I thought it was far too uh, uh, unorganized, there, there, there was a bit of this wedding that was, that was definitely organized, but there was a lot of it that just sort of like fell into place. Like you showing up with, with video camera and recording equipment, which we've never talked to you about at all, which is kind of cool. And uh, Hong showed up with the pretty much all the, well, yeah. all the other Well, I mean, that was that kind of organized, but, and, but the and, way it was conducted. And mm -hmm. Karen, of course, went overboard on the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> they were really beautiful. Yeah. I, all I wanted was just like a box of flowers and we could like just stick them somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it ended up being this big, beautiful artistic piece. Yeah. Um, that was fun. So I was talking with, with your dad, and one of the interesting things he commented on was seeing this core group of Eugenians, um, you, Jeff, and, and your friends at one particular point in your lives and thinking you were all pretty, pretty great individuals, but then coming back 17 years later and, and seeing the group come together and seeing that the same group of individuals who were really great at 17 are really great at, at 34. Um, what's that like for you having this mm. core group of friends where you've all, seems like you've all grown um, along the same path? It, it's kind of <laughs> pretty much along the lines of what you, what you just said, that uh, I thought they were pretty astound, uh, uh, astounding individuals, uh, you know, when I was hanging out with them then, and uh, it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me that they've all turned out very interesting and oftentimes quite successful. Um, and, I, and I don't think that that's stopped. I think in another 20 years, it's going to be really interesting to see where some of these people are. Uh, but, uh, but they've all gone in ways that I wouldn't have entirely expected. Um, but, I, you know, I think life is a lot like that in terms of different opportunities mm -hmm. presenting themselves. And, you know, my life path, my life path changed a lot when I moved to Australia. Uh, you know, new opportunities present themselves. So that was the uh, same thing has happened to everybody else, I guess. And in June, um, you've um, sort of brought uh, what you might call a, um, a, a new cultural direction uh, to your very traditional family. Um, now, I can see in your younger cousins, like um, Alan, Alan and Eric, mm -hmm. they're already kind of with the program mm -hmm. um, that's sort of <laughs> taking the best of both cultures or mixing it up yeah. and expressing it in their own unique way. 
Um, but it also seems like you're having a, a similar influence on your older cousins and, and on your um, parents and aunts and uncles. Um, do you have any, any, any thoughts on that? Um, I, yeah, that's definitely true. I've become very, very Americanized. Um, and they, you know, because of their upbringing and been in China so long that they're still very Chinese, but at the same time, I think I've been starting to put a lot of effort into getting them to try things. For example, last time my parents came to San Diego, we, you know, went to all kinds of different foods, Mexican, Italian, whatever, like really trying well, to broaden the- hot pot. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, they, and we did hot pot, yeah. <laughs> um, Her parents are very but, uh, open-minded about trying, yeah. trying things. Very adventurous, actually. Right, they're, they're, they're pretty open-minded about it. And, um, and even your they, grandma, she seemed to enjoy being here. I, yeah. She was just really My gr My grandma is so awesome. so sweet to help with the wedding bouquets and yeah. stuff. I just, oh. Yeah, my grandma's a really interesting person. She, um, I mean, they rec when they retired uh, from like a pharmaceutical job, uh, she like got bored pretty fast. And so she started, like I know while she, we were still in China, she started making stuffed animals. So some of the first stuffed animals I had were all made by, handmade by her. And they were excellent. And I mean, she never had experience before, but she would just look in books, look at different models and just make it. Um, and she's gone so far as to, I mean, her English is actually decent, like for, you know, she started learning when she was like 60. So it was like, um, and uh, she, she can work the computer. She does Photoshop. She does like fo uh, uh, um, video editing. Like she's like totally with the times. Like, <laughs> Yeah, she, she, she's Your really cool. Your grandmother does online video editing. Yeah, well, wow. yeah, like some of the movies, like she was, like my grandma, like those particular movies, I think my dad did. But at one point, my dad's like, "Oh, your grandma knows how to do it. Just send it to her too." <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So I know you guys gotta get on the road, but mm -hmm. uh, a final thought from any any one? Yeah, actually, yeah, you were just uh, you were talking about the the cultural uh, uh, mix and things, but uh, I know that uh, you're into remix culture uh, and uh, you know IP uh, remixing and things like that. And uh, uh, a lot of of June's family, is, well, actually, about our marriage, actually, is is kind of cultural remixing. And I mm -hmm. I, I really like that June comes from a different background that's that's distinctly. Uh, you know, almost alien to me, uh, and uh, that I can go experience that. And you know, we've traveled China together, and mm -hmm. and things like that. And and you know, between different elements of her family and different elements of my family, just being able to you know mix the the Asian and the uh, you know the uh, Western uh, Western U.S. cultures a bit is is kind of kind of fun actually, and produces odd results, which is also fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a last question I'd like to ask for for both of you. Um, you, you know, one of the things that really uh, impressed me about the slideshow that Junior Dad Hong did for your life was seeing all of a sudden that, that transition of, of your father and mother and their young child in China, which was, you know, their cultural home. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and they both relate to culture very strongly. And all of a sudden... They they change and move to a different world, and mm -hmm. and I tried to put myself in their shoes, and the only thing I could really imagine is that for them, that as long as the two of them were together, mm -hmm. it didn't matter where they were in the world, they would be okay. And I was wondering whether you relate to that or think about that um, about yourselves and each other. Definitely. I mean, in the couple of times we've been traveling, we can see the resourcefulness of each other and, you know, splitting up the works, trying to solve the problem, trying to find a certain place on a map. <laughs> She's a good partner. Partner through all those uh, hard times when we're traveling and yeah. doing various other things. And uh, actually, I'll also add, uh, since you mentioned uh, uh, the, the movie of their uh, move to the U.S. and things, uh, Hong and Wei are, are pretty impressive people. I think that they're um, they're kind of like model immigrants, actually, which is to say, <laughs> model American. Well, actually, they're not American yet, right? They're Canadian. 
but yeah, kind but of m- almost. moving into yeah. American eventually, probably. Uh, and in the sense that uh, you know, the the U.S. has always been about immigrants and about new people coming here who really want opportunity and are really uh, interested in, in working hard for it and being smart and you know building stuff here, like making it a better country. And uh, her parents are really all about that. They have worked really hard here and have achieved a lot here. Uh, and it, it, it's kind of an in, it's a different view of what it is to be patri- patriotic or American than we commonly see, you know, the Republican ideal kind of thing. But I think it's actually the reality of mm-hmm. why the U.S. is a is a in, you know an interesting country. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks.